to have a change of background. Yes, guess where this is? Where is this place? This is Marino Garage. Look at that. Aww. Look at that beauty. Oh, the wind. The wind. Hello. Can you guys hear the wind? Can you guys? Can you guys? Yeah, I'm sure they can hear very clearly with the mic now. Can you guys hear the wind? Wait, let me get it. Let me get it. So welcome everybody to the tea break talk with the toes. Yeah, today we are at a very special place. That will blow your hair out of your face. Yeah. Onto your face. Where well, Eddie, Marina, Bay, Bay Sands, Sands, Marina Barrage. Barrage. So, why are we at the Marina Barrage today? Well, we decided to have, have a picnic. background here. Not only that, because today our topic is very special, very related to the barrage. Water! Water! Yeah. It was related to the barrage because the barrage is near us. Uh, Ferry. Yeah. It's a reservoir. Yes. Reservoir. Reservoir. This reservoir. part is a reservoir. This part is open. Wait, they actually collect the water and pass mm. it through the. Does it pass it to the reservoir? Yup. And that's why that water is so disgusting. Like, oh. That's why I'm saying today our location where we are now today is very relevant to our topic today. We're going to talk about. Guess what this is? It's water. Yes. Water. Jane, maybe you can share with all our audience why is water so important to us? Well, can you guess how many percent of water our body is made out of? Well, our body is made out of 60% water. And every cell, every system in our body depends on it to function properly. Mm. Without it, our cells won't be able to function properly. And you'll experience pain, kidney stones, Symptoms like, like headache, headache, dizziness, and also bad thirst, breath. Bad, bad breath, thirstiness. Well, you're thirsty. And yeah, and also urinary tract infections. Yes, indeed, Jiaying, Jiaying, indeed, very well, well said. <laughs> yes, water is very important to us. In fact, our every system of our body requires water to function properly. Take for example, our kidneys. Our body, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our body actually requires water for us to to deliver all the nutrients to all over our body, and our kidneys also requires water Ooh, because we need cool. water so that our kidney can function properly. Our kidney can then only helps to detox the toxins in our body properly. What other what other um, systems in our body that requires water? Like the digestive system too. Oh yeah, well said. Yes, and our it, digestive it, system. You have to be hydrated. Yes, we have to be hydrated so that our digestive system can work properly. And help us digest the toxins from our body. And yep. that's when we... Ta moment. Ta moment. <laughs> yes, because without the sufficient water, our digestive system will not operate properly. It will cause constipation. Okay? And only that. If not enough water, you're not hydrated properly, what will happen? Well... You get heat stroke. Heat stroke? Yes, dehydrated. You may get heat stroke for very severe conditions. Okay? What else? Anything else? Well, I think we need to learn how to get water from the proper kind of food. Mm. Yeah. Like sometimes you get water from... No, no bubble tea because... I did learn that what if you just if you drink water and not that kind of other drinks, you can it can also help you lose weight without any effort. Yeah, that's right. If you drink water before every meal, it actually helps you to lose weight. Lose weight. Yes, because based on a study, we found that if you drink water before every meal, you can actually cut down seventy five calories for every meal. Oh my god, that Which, is actually a lot. Yes, that means in a year, you can actually cut down twenty seven thousands of calories thousand yes that is i think it's equivalent to about six kilograms <gasps> 7.6 six. Seven oh okay is my face wet guys hmm. yes so Jiaying, may i ask you how much water is sufficient water how much hmm? uh, can you remember I don't know. I don't know. 
and no way to remember it because different different people, different men, different girls, different women, they're all in different shapes and sizes. Mm-hmm. So the only way, the there's a way to tell it. After you after you pass urine, check the toilet bowl for your urine. If your urine's colorless and it's and doesn't have a very strong odor, you have drinking enough water. But if it if it it has a strong yellow color and it is has a very strong odor, that means well you haven't drink enough water. Yes, that's right. So the best way to know whether you have enough water is to look at the color of your if, urine. If the color is like this color, yes, then it's kind of like. Yeah, not enough. You have to drink water. You have to drink water. Okay? So the best way to know is when you go to the toilet, if you don't flush and people don't know that you actually go have been to the toilet, mm-hmm. that means you are properly hydrated. Mm, and talking about apples. But I'm not telling you not to flush, ah. Okay. Still, please must flush the toilet after you use the toilet. But talking about apples, mm. apples also have water like grapes too. But is it. Is it okay to obtain water from apples or grapes, since they also have water? Yes, but is it sufficient? No, it's not sufficient. Yes, but that's why you must still must need you still need to drink enough water to hydrate yourself. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm. ASMR. Good. So, anything else you want to? Oh, hey, hey. you know ah, uh, in the market ah, uh-huh. uh, there are other lots of different types of water. Different type of like water? oxygenated water. Yeah, you know, what is about. that? You know what's that? Oxygenated water. It's basically no. like water with more oxygen. So we call it more oxygen water. So do you think that is good for you, not? Nah? Well, that's more for fish. They're in the water, they <laughs> more air. That's right. Well, oxygenated water, they are water that's that. I mean, people claim that there's more oxygen in the water, but you see, are we fish or are we human beings? Humans. Yeah. So human beings get their oxygen from where? Well, the surroundings yeah from the air we use our lungs to breathe to get oxygen our nose yes so who so which animal get their oxygen from the water mm, fish fish yeah of course fish are we fish no yeah we don't go down there yeah and they also alkaline water have you heard of alkaline water no no <laughs> you know how about alkaline water like well, there are many health claims that alkaline water is actually better. Hmm? But the alkaline waters, they are actually very mild alkaline. And when it goes to our stomach, we have the, the, gast- the gastric acids. Gastric. Oh. Yes. Oh, so, that means we'll have... Um, like so with that, do you know how much water you have to drink to neutralize the acid? It's plenty, plenty. So it actually doesn't help to reduce 3.7? 3.7 hmm? I, I can't remember the figures but So it doesn't really help to Change the pH of our body Well okay? then So those, those claims are a misconception So be a wise consumer We drink water as long as it is, as it is clean. Clean. clean There's only two types of water actually Yes, as There's long as it is actually- clean Clean and, and dirty. dirty. Yes. Just like the water right there, they're putting it into the sea. The side of this, the, sea. the water from the reservoir is clean, but the water from the sea is not clean. It's the dirty. Reservoir, they, it rains every and day. And the water from the apple is probably clean. Yeah, I see. And you know, we're actually very blessed in Singapore because Singapore, the water, even the water from your tap is actually clean. Mm, yes, so we are very, very blessed. Hmm? How do you drink water? Um, huh? Okay. So every time when your mommy asks you to drink water, okay, be always Remember that thankful. you're very fortunate. Yes. Because your mom knows the best what's best for you. Stay hydrated. They don't want you to suffer from kidney stones, which is actually very painful. Like urinary tract infections, um, headache, dizziness, heat, heat stroke. That there. No. We actually drink quite a lot of water in the morning because we take products and these products are mm. powders so what we need to mix them with water and so we just want some Yeah, we drink water we drink sufficient water to take for the morning and we also finish our breakfast. Yes. Yeah. This in the night we fast for eight to hours. No water, no food. So we have to, when the first thing we wake up, what is the thing that we need to do? 
Where's our tea? Yes, mm, uh, yes, of course. After that, <laughs> is to keep yourself water. hydrated. Drink lots of water. And also give your body lots of nutrients. Sometimes I, Protein. Keep the, I keep the habit of bringing some water inside. So in the morning, I can also drink some water. Mm, good. Okay, I think we covered quite a bit today. Okay, I hope all of you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye! Actually, yeah, bye. 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 bye.